Sophie Wessex to have a special role amid coronation. King Charles assigns Sophie Wessex to deliver a special letter. In the Cayman Islands are Sophie and Edward. As part of their most recent royal tour, Sophie Wessex and Prince Edward are currently captivating fans in the Cayman Islands. After arriving in the Caribbean on Tuesday, the couple has been busy getting to know locals and taking advantage of everything the island has to offer. On their tour, they were also given the responsibility of delivering a letter on behalf of King Charles, the brother of Edward. Message from His Majesty the King on the occasion of the visit of their Royal Highnesses the Lord and Countess of Wessex to the Cayman Islands, is the title of the letter. Edward and Sophie were given a message from the King to convey. It states, in 2019, the Cayman Islands extended a warm welcome to my wife and me, and we both remember how exciting it was to witness the territory's incredible growth in recent years firsthand. Caymanians have every reason to be proud of their history, culture, and community, as well as of how hard they work to preserve the natural world and develop a sustainable economy. The Cayman Islands, like all of our overseas territories, are cherished and essential parts of the British family, and I look forward to further solidifying our bond in the years to come, the King said. Although the Cayman Islands are British overseas territories and not realms, they are seen as being a part of the UK. Although it is independent and has its own government, the UK is in charge of its foreign relations. The Governor of the Cayman Islands, Martin Roper, sent a hearty greeting to Sophie and Edward via Twitter. He stated, I'm honoured to welcome to Cayman TRH as the Lord and Countess of Wessex. An opportunity to promote what our islands have to offer while forging close ties with the royal family and the UK. Both their assistant private secretary, Annabel Gallatly, and their private secretary, Captain Andrew Aspin, RN, have come to see the couple. To promote spare, Prince Harry promises an intimate broadcast with the public. On March 4, the Duke of Sussex will hold a public discussion about his contentious memoir. As the royal announced, Prince Harry will do an intimate live stream talk and content to promote Spare when his book tour is over. Next Saturday, March 4 at 5 p.m. GMT on Vimeo, the publisher of the Duke of Sussex's book, Penguin Random House, will organize a virtual event at which he will participate. According to the publisher, they will have an intimate dialogue as they examine living with loss and the significance of personal recovery. Dr. Gabor Mate, the author of The Myth of Normal, Trauma, Disease, and healing in a toxic society, will be joining Harry. Starting at £19.12, and pence, $33.09, each one-hour event ticket includes a hardcover copy of Spare. Also, visitors have the choice to submit a question for a live answer by March 1. When the Duke was only 12 years old, Harry's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, perished in a vehicle accident in Paris in 1997. He referred to the princess as his guardian angel and stated that she is with him all the time in spare, where he also discussed how difficult it was to live with her passing. The late queen, who was also Harry's grandmother, passed away in September 2022, one year after the Duke of Edinburgh, his paternal grandfather. The Duchess miscarried in the summer of 2020, one year after the birth of her first son Archie, and the Duke and his wife, Meghan, have spoken about the child they lost since then. In honor of Harry's mother, Diana, the couple gave their daughter Lilibet, better known as Lily, who will turn two in June, the middle name Lily. The Queen family nickname was Lilibet. Harry's tell-all autobiography, which was ghostwritten, made clear how frustrated he was with his family. He alleged that after calling the Duchess of Sussex difficult, mean, and aggressive at Harry's then-home Nottingham Cottage, his brother William, now the Prince of Wales, knocked him to the ground. The Duke asserted that the Queen consort sacrificed him on her personal PR altar and that his father, the current King, put his own interests ahead of Harry's out of jealousy for Meghan and the Princess of Wales.